There is uh, scientific reasons for the Quran, there is uh, historical reasons for the Quran, there's everything. Okay. everything. okay. In your okay. Bible, there's okay. nothing, there's none of that. Okay. All right. can, can I read you? Have you ever heard of a man called Salomon Rin Riniash? Salomon. Basically, he's a, he's, a, he's a prominent French archaeologist yeah, and a historian. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I'm explaining something to you, but he's a historian, yeah? I'm going to read you a statement from him, yeah. and I'm going to, I'm going to um, kind of back up what he says in the statement, yeah? His name is Salomon, um, I'm trying to pronounce it right, it's Rienach, Rienach. You check him up on the website. He, he was born in the 1930s. Um, he's a historian, he's a French historian, and one of the, a prominent member, he's, he's a well-known historian and archaeologist. That's, you know, and so this will, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me, let me, no, no, I'm not going to tell you, he's not, he didn't become a Christian, I'm sorry, so I'll just read you something about him. This is what he says, he says from the literacy points, how do you know he says that? Baba, I'm quoting from his book. How do you know he actually says Baba, I'm just going to... Bro, 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 are you, are you, just let me read it and then I'll explain to you. Okay. I'm not quote, I'm not, he's not a Christian or anything like that. It's okay. a question, yeah. Hold on, one minute, one minute. So, it's a question. so it says here, from the literacy point of view from the Quran, um, sorry, from the liter literary point of view for the, the Quran has little merit, declamation, um, repetition, Plurality, a lack of logic and coherence strike the unprepared reader at every turn. Okay, it is humiliating to the human intellect to think that this mediocre literature has been the subject of innumerable commentaries and that millions of men are still wasting time absorbing it. This is a man who's not, he's not, okay, that's fine. But let me give you the reason. I can give you lots of non-Muslims that have a good You're correct, you're correct, you're correct. You're correct. But I'm simply going by what you said. You said your reason for believing that the uh, Muhammad is a prophet is because of the Quran. Now let me back up why he said this. That's just one reason. That's right, that's right. So I'm dealing with that one reason. So let me, let me give you, hold on, hold on. Before I was you, I was worried about your own religion more. Before I was you, I was worried about your own religion more. One more time. time. Okay, let's look at that. You said the Quran. Okay, let's look at the Quran. Get an Arab intellectual. Okay. And get an expert in the Quran. No, no, no. So the Quran, can you understand? Is the Quran clear? Is this something you could understand? No, no. Can... Get an expert in the Quran. All right, let me deal with him first, and then I'll come to you. Just wait your turn. So it was I'm gonna come to you. Some random guy said it. So, random so, guy so, the for example, so, 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 for example, you said the Quran is this perfect book. All right, let me read you. The reason why he says for why it's illogical is it's no because I agree with him. So I'm going to give you the reason why. Okay, so let me give you according to the Quran what it says. Surah um, 86, 6 through 7. It says, Now let man but think from what he let man but think from what he's created. Yeah. He's created from a, a drop or fluid yeah. emitted proceeding from the from between yeah, yeah. the backbones yeah. and the rib. Yeah, yeah. Now do you believe that you are produced from a fluid or semen or whatever. Fluid, when you're like, well, it comes from the between right, the backbone right, and the so ribs. That, so you say your ribs is here, your backbone is there, it comes right. from between. So it's the sperm yeah. is no, being... It's not talking about the sperm, it's talking about the liquid. The liquid, okay, what liquid is it? It's the liquid that you ejaculate from. So what is it? <laughs> what do you know what it is? What is it with liquid? What do you, you, you call the liquid? Uh, my friend, my friend, liquid. No, it's not talking it's about the sperm. It's called semen. It's called semen. not talking about the semen. Okay, so what is it then? It's talking about the liquid. You're saying it's called a liquid, but what is the liquid? It has a, it has a, it has a, it's the liquid it has a scientific it. term. But you don't know, man. My friend, do you not know the basics of it's biology? It's talking about the sperm. The, uh, bring me any Arabic words here. Uh, it says about it sperm. that. Okay, okay. Let's let's it's go. Let's go with what you're saying. Yeah, you're saying it's we are created from a fluid. Okay. All right. So what That's fluids? A, a liquid that comes between the ribs and the fluid, backbones. Right. So what fluids? What's wrong with that? I beg you to tell me. Hold on. What fluids? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So, so sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. So what fluids yeah. that creates us as human beings yeah. comes between no, read that verse the again. ribs read, read again. and the backbone? The hold, 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 hold. That's a that's a fluid that you eject, uh, ejaculate. So, so, so I'm saying scientifically. Yeah. Show us any way you can. You can Google it. Where do we find? Because you're saying this Quran. Really? Hold on, hold on. Just what's a minute. Point yeah, I'm going to come to you in a minute. I'm just going to understand what you're saying. Okay, tell me what's wrong with that. Well, because I want to understand this perfect Quran that has no contradictions. Yeah, but what's wrong with that verse? Yeah, what I'm saying to you is. Can I answer that verse? Hold on, hold on. I'm going to come to you in one minute. Let me just, if you can't answer, I'll speak to you. I'm not answering, man. You don't make. You don't know what. Right. So, you so can you stop cutting him off, please? Because he's trying to answer. Okay. So yeah, you don't know what you're asking. I'm asking you point? again. You yeah. said that it's not semen. You said it's not sperm. So I'm asking. 
ask me what that fluid is, you don't really, know. Really, hold on, hold liquid. on. You said it's some fluid, some liquid, right? So I'm asking, when you, when, hold on. When the man is arrested, when you educate, Robert, one at a time. There's, there's one a liquid that at a time. One at a time, okay? So the question is this, what is this fluid that creates human beings? And where do we know scientifically that it's, that we, um, that it's between the backbone and the rib? Can you explain that? Your ribs is here, your backbone is there, and it's in between. So, so, where I can show you, I can show you which So, so can, you, can, you, you know, can you give me scientific evidence or some form of biological evidence that this fluid creates? I will find the video for you. I will find the video for you. Scientific. You said scientific. Brother, I'm asking you which fluid, because this Quran is supposed to be perfectly clear, right? So, you believe there's no fluid from there? Hold on. Is the, is the Quran I'll supposed to be you, this I'm, clear book? Yeah? I'm showing you a video. Is so the, you, according, I'm showing you a video. According to the Quran itself, Bro, I think I'm it's showing you a video. Six, it says that it's the, it's the clear, perfect book. So I'm asking you is this... Bro, you're you, bumbling, man. You're not giving me any answers. Because your question doesn't make sense. My question doesn't make I'm, sense. I'm going to answer I'll you. Answer I don't, I don't know. He, he, he wants to answer. If you stand silent... So once again... If you stand silent, you have answer. Once again, can you give me where this fluid is, okay, that creates us? If Go you on, wait... I'll give you the answer. Let, let, let him answer. Let him answer. answer. If you wait... I'll, give, I'll give you the answer. answer. Bro, you're, 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 respect your Muslim brother. He wants to answer. Okay, so let him answer. He doesn't want you to stick it in and then mess him up, you know, just, just give him a chance, yeah? So give us the answer then. Why are you doing that? Because it might take a bit of time. I'll speak to him, but find it and we'll, and we'll talk in a minute. Yeah, so what's your, what are you saying? Read it. Okay. No, no, I'm just, just wait. You, you just look at you take your time. Read it. So, it says now, let man but think from what he's created. He's created from a, a drop or some translation say em fluid emitted Proceeding from the backbone, between the backbone and the ribs. Yeah, so he's a what's so, yeah. so hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch this video. Brother, 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 I'm going to brother, answer You had your chance. Brother, you scared, man. You had your chance. I'm you scientific evidence. Okay. That you I'm not going to watch a YouTube bro. video. Okay, so he's if you give me some scientific evidence, it's fine. Emitted, it's proceeding from your mother's. So what is, what is the fluid they're talking about? Brother, I'm showing you. Whatever it is. Whatever you create so it from. I'm Brother, asking you what it is. Because is the Quran, is the Quran. You're scared. Is the Quran, the brother, stop barging into me. Brother, yeah? you don't watch. The Quran is perfectly answer. clear, right? It's a perfectly clear book. Do we agree? Obviously. Right, because according to the Quran, it says it's this perfect, clear In book Arabic, from Allah. Yeah. Right. Okay, so what I'm asking you is this. It, you're saying you don't know what this fluid is. So I'm saying what fluid... I didn't say that. You, okay, so what I fluid is it? Brother, I'm showing you. Made from. Hold on, hold on. Huh? What you made from. I forget it, man. Fluid we're made from. That's what I'm asking you. What is this fluid? What is the scientific term for it? Whatever it is. Spin, See, whatever. so the clear books, you don't liquid. even know what it is. Do you know what's I a liquid? You. It's coming from you. Look, watch, watch, watch this video. No, I don't want to watch a video. You explain. You, you, you give me, watch it, you give me a scientific evidence. You tell me to brother, show you, I'm showing brother, you. Brother, I'm giving you your Quran and you're giving me some YouTube you video. You prove to me scientifically. I'm proving to you scientifically, Okay, bro. explain to me what the video says. What do you explain? Just watch it. Brother, I'm not going to watch a video. Because it's a video. You have to watch it. All right. Let me read you another one. You can't you can't answer that. Okay, so let me ask you a different one. Okay, so. You're saying that this Quran is this perfectly clear book. So you got your answer for the first verse, yeah? You haven't given me an answer. I did. I've asked him. He said that I should watch a YouTube video, which I haven't got time for. So what is that fluid? If this Quran is so clear, it's, it's, for, man, it's for all mankind, what is this fluid? Because Why is that important? Why is it important? Yeah. Because I read him earlier on, I read him a Does quote from a historian sperm? who I agree with. He's a... Uh, um, and he speaks about the Quran being was, was illogical, hold on, incoherent. Um, was, was he Arabic? It, it, um, the, the, the declamation, repetition, plurality. Now, it says people Arabic? are wasting their time was absorbing it. And so what I'm asking is, now, was he Arabic? I agree with this statement. Arabic? The reason why I agree with this statement, Arabic? you're not listening, you're not listening, Arabic? you're not listening. No. Okay. The reason why I agree with this you is because you have verses you like this, which you can't even explain yourself. Bro, what you say, you, he says it's what a fluid. Your own Bible, your own Bible, your own Bible you say it's a fluid. Culture. I don't know what fluid is. It's just some fluid that creates us. Oh, it comes from the between the back what, rib. What Hold on, it becomes between the rib and the back bones. So what fluid that creates us um, comes from the behind, from, from the from the rib and the back bone? We're asking a question. So, so again, for the last time, I'm going to give you the last time to answer this. What fluid, what fluid that creates human beings comes from between the backbone and the rib? It just says here, I'll read it one more time. Now let man be think from what he is created. He is created from a drop or fluid emitted, proceeding 
from between the backbone and the ribs. So, which is this fluid that is coming from the backbone and the ribs? Fluid it is. It's not a scientific book to explain what. Fluid uh, so you can't answer that. So no, let me. You can't answer that. You can't so answer let me. Question. Okay, let me ask you about your your Quran. You say, is the Quran? Quran is a scary book. Let me read another um, um, chapter for you. If you see if you can help me out with your with your perfectly clear Quran. Surah well, 18, answers, 83 through to 86. And they ask you about Dul Kanan. Say, I shall recite to you something of his story. Verily, we established him in the earth and we gave him the means of everything. So he followed away until when he reached the setting place of the sun, he found it setting in a spring of black, muddy, um, in brackets it says, or hot water. And he found near it a people. He's talking about the guy's perspective. So, why is it that the Quran, this perfectly clear book, is showing that the, it's saying that the sun is setting in a pool of muddy water? How is this this perfectly scientific book? He's, saying, he's talking about his point of view. Baba, you had your chance. It's his turn. What chance, man? You, you just Can you respond to that? No, you didn't. How is it that the sun sets, is able to set in a pool of muddy, in a, in a pool of muddy water? Can you read it? I just read it to you. Are you not listening? I'm gonna read it one more time. It says here. Oh, I know the verse. In Surah 18, Ayah 83 through to 86. Listen carefully, because I know you're thinking of an answer. The guy is walking and, he's and they ask you about Dul Kanan. Say, I shall recite to you something of his story. Verily, we established him in earth, and we gave him the means of everything. So he followed away until when he reached the setting place of the sun. He found it setting in a spring of black muddy water. And he found near it a people. So you hear that? He found the sun. He's going to a place, finds his people, he and he sees the sun. The and it comes down yeah, and the in the a pool of muddy water. Can you respond to that? If not, I'll go to another Muslim. Do you not have the answer to that? Say yeah, that. I'm here. I just read it to you. Go, go to another Muslim. I just read it to you. He, that's his point of view. Okay, so your answer is, is his point of view. It's his perspective. He's talking about so he's saying, thing. basically you're saying that he's looking at the sun and to it him, seems, he like, he's set, he's it seems like it's setting, uh, setting, but it's actually not. It's just his point of view. He's not actually, How do you he's actually sure. I'm asking you, is this what you're saying? We'll clarify How what you're saying. Let me read the verse. No, no, you, you agree. I've read it twice. I'm not going to let you read it again. So it's a, we just want to understand why you follow this Quran when historians, archaeologists, prominent people they do not. It makes no sense to them. It does, mate. It does. Surah, to all of them, it Surah, does. Surah, to Surah, all of them, it does. Um, eighteen eighty-three to thirty-six to, to eighty-six. Is there anyone else who can answer the question? Yeah. Did you want him to? Because it seems like phone a friend. Okay, you answer the one. Yeah. Can you answer the question? Yeah, I did. So it was from his perspective. He's walking in his perspective. He sees the uh, river, yeah, and he sees the sun setting in there. Okay, Not so in there, but he's from it's his, like he's his looking at it. That's why I said. When you go over the hill, yeah, you see like the, for example, you see. For him, it's even it's gone down. You know what I'm saying? But it's not actually. He's okay. not talking should about we, the sun. Should going we look down. at what your hadith say? Because the hadith gives you a clearer perspective. Because anyone can make up stuff about. I haven't read the hadith. No. But well, I'm going to give you the hadith. That's the whole point. Christians. I, I told you. I don't. I don't, I don't believe. It. Well, you, we're going to give you that. We're going to give it to you. You're going to go home. You can do your homework. Okay. Then. Research it. Understand it. Read and then come back. Yeah. So, Sunan Abu Dawood, three nine nine one. Yeah. Let me read it. Abu Da said. I was sitting with the Apostle of Allah yeah. during the sunset. So this is a literal perspective, yeah? yeah? Muhammad asked him, do you know, O oh Abu Da, where the... Where the, way, it where the, the Quran, hold yeah. on, don't cut me off when I'm you talking. Said, we were talking about the Quran. I'm going to give you, I'm going to respect you enough to listen to okay. you when you're speaking. Abu Da, um, uh, he answered, okay. He says, do you know, so Muhammad asked him, do you know, O oh Abu Da, where this sets? He answered, God and his apostle knows better, right? So Allah and, his, and Muhammad know better than you. It says, it sets in a spring of slimy water. Yeah. So your so-called perspective is blown out the window because the hadith gives us the literal explanation of what this we verse, were, we were because it says there. And so what I'm saying to you is that you have a Quran who actually makes this claim that the sun, it's supposed to be scientific by the way, the sun sets in muddy water. Now, the minute I read that in a book that's yeah. supposed to be a holy book from God, 
I'm running a million miles away because straight away I can see that that's not from God because the sun does not set in muddy well, water. I told you what I think, so. Well, yeah, but we're not interested in what you think. We're interested yeah, in facts. Uh, yeah, and facts. Yeah, if but that's not fact. Scholar, they that's your the perspective and that's your view. The scholars were the I'm same thing. I'm just giving you a hadith. Yeah, but the scholars will say the same thing. Okay, so let's move on. So, according to um, the Quran, it says in Surah 67, verse 5. We're looking at this perfectly logical, um, coherent Quran that's so scientific and the perfect word from Allah to to um, to mankind. Let's read Quran 67, verse 5. And we have from of old adorned the lowest heavens with lamps, and we have made such lamps as missiles to drive away the evil ones, have prepared for them the penalty of the blazing fire. Yeah, yeah. So he's saying here, do you know, okay, do you, are you, do you know what that's this the verse the shooting stars are basically are uh, towards, directed towards the, the devils and stuff. Let's say right, so, uh, right, jeans, right, so, the bad ones, yeah. so it says we have made lamps as missiles to drive away yes. the evil ones. So yeah. these, these so-called, no, hold on, hold on, these so-called stars yeah. or, um, what do you call it? As you say, you call them shooting stars. They chase the away demons. He's talking about the unseen. You can't prove. Wait, wait, hold on. I just want to be clear what you're I'm saying. Clear with you, yeah. Is it? Are these stars supposed to be chasing demons or or, or or chasing away demons? According to you. According to Quran, yeah. According to the Quran. Okay. Now, you see, this is why we have a, such a huge problem with why the Quran. Is that a problem? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why it's a problem. Because anybody with just using a little bit of logic, not a lot of logic, a little bit of logic. We we'll know that demons. If you talk, if hold you, on, hold on. Let me finish. Well, just talking, man. No, no, but I'm I'm responding to your answer. You answered me, and I'm going to respond to your answer. Okay? It's a back and forth dialogue. Yeah, but you're just talking on stuff. You've answered my question, and so I'm going to respond to your question, to to your answer. So, anyone using a little bit of logic would we'll know that demons are spiritual beings. Yeah. That means they're metaphysical. That means yeah, you, you can't, can't touch them, them, you can't see them, you can't yeah. feel them. Yeah. But stars are material. So what? So how is it? God, hold on. Hold on. Can God make how that happen? How is it stars? From a Christianity point of view, can, can God that make that happen? Okay. So you can. How is it can. That material? Can God make that happen? How is it that can the God stars can chase away can, can God make that demons? Happen? Can God Do you see where you have a problem? I'm sure he's listening. You're not answering me. You never answer me. You never no, what you're doing, what you're doing is you're... But I'm asking you a logical because question. Because I'm answering you, you don't want to... You don't, uh, can God make what happen? If you're a Christian, yeah, do you yes. believe God, God can make that happen? Can make what happen? What you just said. The stars shooting, in the, uh, shooting at the, the unseen. The devils that are unseen. Metaphysical, yeah? Physical right. and metaphysical. Can, can, is God, can God, has God got the power to do that? Right. So, what I'm, what I'm saying to you is this, is that you I'm going to answer, I'm, I'm going to answer the question. I'm saying to you that God, I believe, is logic, he, he uses logical means because logic flows from God. How can you hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, see now you're running to the Trinity, just wait a minute, okay? Right, so, God is a logical being, everything that's true comes from him. So, for example, one of the things we do, we, we, we give, as we give uh, Muslims like yourself the gospel message, and the gospel message, oh, hold on, I'm going, to an, I'm going to answer your question using an illustration. God came incarnate as a human being, as a physical the human being. Physical, I'm going yeah. to answer your question, but you got to wait. He came a human, oh, became a, became a human being, a physical human oh, being, oh, oh, which we can touch, which we can, which we can uh, see who died on the cross and he was a he was a physical well, human let being. Me now no no you have to wait for me to finish and then you respond. You never finish. And so what I'm saying is that a that, that God he's a spiritual being the Bible says it in um, John 4 24 it says that he's, he's a spirit he's, he's a spirit and so a spirit being okay okay um cannot uh, a spirit being came incarnate in Wait, a human being so that he can connect. You don't know how to talk. A spirit cannot connect, uh, a, a spiritual being cannot connect with something that's physical. It makes no logical sense. Okay, are you finished? Do you understand what are I'm you saying? Finished? Do, you, do you understand okay, what I'm saying? I right, so again, okay. you're not you have shooting stars, shooting stars pursuing. Can I just quickly read you this hadith real quickly? Okay. Honestly. He's just a Which short front of the cameras, man. Yeah, hadith, Sayyid Bukhari. Yeah, three one nine eight. Well, if you're a Christian, what is wrong with that? Mama, you believe in all powers of God. I've just explained to you. You believe in all powers. We well, haven't listened to what I've said. You believe in all powers of God. I've, I've just explained it to you. Yeah, so you got D, you got you got soup, you got um um, you got stars, shooting God stars, chasing demons. God, God can't do that. So, God shooting can't stars, do that. chasing demons. God can't do that. What? God, Baba, it makes no what, sense. God can't do that. It okay. makes no sense. Right. God, doing God, that, is, yeah? God is not. God is not illogical. You're a disbeliever in your religion. God is not illogical. You're a disbeliever right. in your religion. So, 
Okay, so, okay, 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 fine, so, can I read you this idea really quickly? You never died on the cross, you're dead now. I didn't say God, I said Jesus did. I said Jesus died, God incarnated, yeah. So, Abu, before I practice, yeah, you can I, can I, can I respond to you? God died, yes or no? But we're changing the subject a little bit. You said it yourself. Once I've dealt with this, I promise you I'm going to answer that question, is that okay? That's the guy who didn't speak Arabic, so that's, I disagree. No, but this is a, this is your Your God was the unseen, and he became the seen, and you have a problem. Sure. That in the Quran, but in the Bible you don't. Okay. I haven't studied that verse yet. You haven't studied it. I've studied the first Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Okay, one. do you know? No, you didn't answer. I what? did answer it. What I'm gonna do? What's your name, sir? What's your name? Jamaz. Shabazz. Shabazz. Uh, Shabazz. I appreciate you listening. You haven't heckled as much as your friend there. Yeah, but you. What know. I will say is this. No, you're what heckling, what, not what me. I want you, you to do? What I want you to do? Okay, okay. What, what I'll ask you to do? What I'll ask you to do because I see a level of. I wouldn't say sincerity, but you're listening at least. And what I'll say is, go away, look at these hadiths that I've mentioned. You can check it out on DCCI. We're going to put it up on DCCI. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to answer it in a minute. Because you're, because you're saying you, you seem to have a lack of knowledge on these hadith, on these Quran, Quranic verses, which are in your Quran, which you should be studying. I have studied all of it, yeah. Well, you need to read your Quran. I have read it. Okay, so, according to, according to your Quran, you need to read through it. And then, you do your homework, you come back to me, and then, We'll, we'll look at it again, okay? No, okay, so uh, you're, you're uh, Christian, uh, right? And you, how much time have we got? Uh, you, uh, eight minutes, okay, uh, go, go, go You yeah. want me to, like, to become a Christian, right? I'll ask okay, so this is a different no, question. Can you ask him not to heckle while I answer you? Bro, you, you, you can't answer can you, Wait, wait, wait. Before no, I continue, you, you can you, can you, can you... So it's not dead now. Okay, can I, can I respond to that, yeah? Yeah. Okay, according to um, teach, um, Christian doctrine, okay, Jesus, the Bible, the Bible teaches that God so loved the world, He gave His only Son. So Jesus Christ, so he Jesus came, wasn't God. Brother, brother, are you? Can I was, respond? Was Jesus God? Can, can I respond? Or let's without you cutting me, well, and then all okay, day. all right. Listen. Can you stop heckling? <laughs> You're heckling. Okay. Me. So the question is this: is the, the answer to your question is this: is that Jesus Christ incarnate? who came down in a human body, in the flesh, okay? Okay, he came Who down, Jesus, just a minute, just a minute. God Almighty came in a human flesh, and, and for, as a human body, he died for mankind. So right, so hold on, one second, one second. Well, obviously, as you know, the Christianity, the Christian doctrine yeah, one, one question, is that... Please, no, 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 don't cut me off, don't cut me off. Because you have a the Christian, the, the Christian scene, doctrine, hold on. The Christian so, doctrine. So the unseen became. So why are you why are you heckling me? Because I'm you not answering questions. But why are you coming? But I'm not talking to you right now. It's it's answer, I'm talking to him. Yeah, because you left me. I yeah, was debating no. with you. No, you're not. You show me a YouTube video. All right, and then then he's. All right. So he's asked, you've asked me a good question, and I want to ask you. To, I'll answer that for you, yeah? Because I think it's a good question. Okay. So the thing is this: is that we believe that um, the Trinity is God. Okay. So that's the first. Hold on, hold on. So. You have the first person, the second person, and the third person. So Which, hold on, let me finish, brother. Three persons, okay, in one being. Okay, there's one God, three persons that make, uh, um, th that comprise to make one God, okay? We call it the Trinity. Now, the second person of the Trinity came down incarnate to come to be able to so engage. You're, hold you're up, hold up. Let me, let me finish my, right. let me, no, let so me ask, Baba, Baba, Baba. Let me answer, let me answer your question. And then you can ask me other questions afterwards, okay? Depending if we have time. So, we're saying that the second person of the Trinity, Jesus Christ, incarnated in a human body, came to die for the sins of all mankind, okay? Came to die for you and I because we're sinners. And what the Bible says is that, that um, so all. Does God commit any sin now? He's, let, let, let me. He's died for me right? You're asking many questions. Let you me want, finish you want that. The answer. You want the answer, but you, it don't sound like you want the answer. Yeah, your answer is making no sense. Yeah. So, in, so he came incarnated in the flesh. Okay, and he died for human beings. So, we still have a, we still have God, but however, he took on a flesh. So he had, a, he had a, um, uh, he had a divine nature, and he also had. Um, in addition to that, it took on a physical nature. So it wasn't like he was just um, a divine who just changed into a, into, hold on, into a, into a, a physical nature. He was both. That's why the Bible, that's why, um, um, so hold on, hold on. That's why if, um, one of our early church fathers, they, they called it the hypostatic union, where you have Jesus Christ who took on an additional nature. So a divine, addition to that, so he took on a spiritual so nature. Jesus, no, so, took on that nature. So, that, so that's the answer uh, to your question. No, nah, that okay. make sense. Well, it so doesn't did, matter if it makes did, sense to you. That's what happened. Did Jesus happens. know that he was like whatever you said? Sorry? Did he know that? Did Jesus know that? Did Jesus know what? Down, that he's come down as his God. Did Je Jesus? Jesus revealed to him. 
his Je baptism. Okay, this is a did Jesus know okay. that? This is a different question. No, it's okay. the same question. It's, it's not the same. It's not the same question. Same. You asked me the first question. You asked me, and this is why I'm saying I'm starting to use to say the question you asked me is. Did Jesus, did God die? That was your yeah. question. Yeah, that's no, hold, no, 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 no. And now you're changing, change the, change the question. And what happens is, what generally happens is, once we give you an answer, it's like what we call it's like a rapid fire. Yeah, They'll ask you. They, no, 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 you want to teach me, right? What's the question? Yeah, it's a machine gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. One question after the other. And so I see a, a lack of sincerity. So Why are you scared I'm gonna, I'm gonna. So if you want to talk some more, just wait a minute. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna summarize. And so, once again, we have Did Muslims who, ha who tell us the Quran is this perfect book. It's the most logical, it's coherent, it's scientific. And every single surah and every single verse we ask them about, and I, we try to um, kind of rationalize it and bring it, bring, make sense of it. Answer they question. have no answer, answer they have no, um, no, answer. no, no, no coherent. Answer. Interpret uh, understanding no of their own Quran. What I would say is, turn away from this false book, turn away from this false prophet, you, come to Jesus Christ. You have a Jesus Christ claimed to be the truth, and know? it's in the fruit of Bible know? that did you can know? know the truth of Jesus did Christ. Did he know? Did he know he was God?